emergence of DeepSeek now putting pressure on the U.S. tech names. DeepSeek, it's a new Chinese AI startup, and in some cases, its AI model is outperforming American artificial intelligence system. I think we should take the development out of China very, very seriously. Imagine an AI that can secretly control your computer, book reservations, and even apply for jobs. While China's $6 million deep seek threatens to outsmart it, what sounds like science fiction is now real. OpenAI just dropped Operator, a tool that could automate your life or destroy millions of jobs. But there's a catch. China's already winning this AI war, and today, I'll show you why. First off, what is OpenAI's Operator? If you're not up to date, Operator is a new tool the team unveiled in January 2025 that browses the web like a human. While that might sound a lot similar to what ChatGPT already does as a generative model, trust me, they are very different. For context, if you ask ChatGPT for recommendations of restaurants in San Francisco, it'll generate a list of fine dining options that could be helpful. On the other hand, Operator takes it a step further and can even book a reservation on your behalf. Imagine entering a prompt like, hey, operator, book me a reservation in a restaurant in San Francisco with a $300 budget. After inputting your query, the AI tool will automatically search the web for potential dining options in your location and within your budget and possibly fill out a form to book your reservation. The best part is that you can observe all its actions on your computer while it works. As a result, operator has the potential to change the way we automate many of our daily tasks and work errands. Picture a world where you never forget to make a reservation for your spouse's birthday, or one where you can easily find the best online deals and automate your grocery order. That's what OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and staffer Yash Kumar, Casey Chu, and Rei Ichiro Nakano were excited to unveil during an OpenAI livestream. As the name implies, Operator is an AI tool that can navigate the web like a human operator. It even comes with a sidebar that allows users to see what steps the AI tool is taking and quickly spot if it makes any mistakes. Also, Reichiro Nakano, a member of the company's technical staff, highlighted during OpenAI's livestream that the operator works with a CUA, short for Computer Using Agent. This model is built on the latest GPT-40, and this choice allows the AI tool to perceive a web browser or web page and converse in typed text. In other words, as Reichiro put it, it's trained to use and control a computer in the same way that humans can, by just looking at the screen and using a mouse and keyboard to control it. However, if it runs into an obstacle along the way, like a CAPTCHA or password field, it'll pause and send a prompt for you to take over, giving you more control. Measuring operators' ability to navigate common operating systems like Linux, it stands at around 38.1%, which leaves much to be desired considering the benchmark for humans is closer to 72.4%. Despite that gap, when you consider that other AI models only fare around 22% on average, it's still a remarkable feat that Operator can use our computers so well. Besides, that gap is much smaller when we look at its ability to navigate common websites, with Operator scoring 58.1% and humans getting 78.2%. Adding to that, their VP of product at OpenAI, Peter Wellinder, said, AI is evolving from this tool that could answer your questions to one that is also able to take action in the world, carrying out complex multi-step workflows. During the live stream, the team highlighted that Operator uses a multimodal system, which means it can integrate text, image, and code functionalities. In other words, with the same system, you can draft a business proposal for an idea you have, and even design a logo for said business with DALL-E, connecting with third-party tools like Slack, Trello, or email services with operators' automation features allows you to streamline your workflow. Who knows? You could even use it to mass apply for jobs by asking it to rewrite your resume several times and sending it to relevant job listings it finds online. As impressive as that is, operator is still limited in its ability as a computer assistant because it can't reliably handle complex tasks like creating a detailed slideshow or managing an intricate calendar system. Right now,
Now Operator is only available to U.S. residents on OpenAI's Pro plan, which costs users $200 a month. However, since it's still in the development phase, OpenAI is closely monitoring Operator through the user data it shares, including screenshots of your windows. While that's in accordance with OpenAI's privacy policy, you can still toggle model training off in your settings if you don't want ChatGPT sniffing through your previous conversations. Hopefully, when the company collects enough feedback, they can refine Operator's capabilities for the general public and make it available to other paid users or integrate it into ChatGPT directly, like they did with GPT-40. Giving Operator more power to automate tasks and navigate the internet on its own certainly adds a new level of risk to the equation. Considering it's essentially giving ChatGPT access to a web browser with your information, it's worth pausing to evaluate the negative repercussions. For instance, what if people with nefarious plans use this technology to search and find loopholes in the law that let them get away with unethical stuff? Also, since Operator can work with images to a reasonable degree, there's the possibility of people using it to make fake pictures or memes that could spread misinformation or slander someone's character. However, these theories are mostly hypothetical. Knowing the great potential for harm Operator could pose in the wrong hands, the team at OpenAI have been proactive in setting up safeguards to curb the worst. For example, they've installed a block list of websites the AI tool can't access, including those related to adult and gambling content. Besides, there are also more elaborate safeguards they plan to implement as Operator's capabilities grow. These safeguards should work to curb less nefarious activities, but still costly mistakes like entering the wrong shipping address. After all, if we're being real, Operator is more likely to mess up by making an unwanted booking than getting outsmarted into mass-producing adult content. That's why Wellender and Yash Kumar, product and engineering lead for OpenAI's CUA, say that their current plan is to learn from how people use the tool. In other words, they plan to observe users carefully and implement that in the AI software's development to reduce the chances of error. More so, they've added an extra layer of protection against mistakes by programming Operator to check in at critical points and get user input before proceeding with the task. On the live launch, Yash Kumar said, it'll come back to me and ask for confirmations before taking steps that might be irreversible. After all, the last thing that you want is to discover that your AI assistant actually booked a reservation in San Diego instead of San Francisco. With these safeguards, users would have more confidence in using it as a reliable web helper. In a live demonstration with Wired, the team asked Operator to book an Amtrak train trip from New Haven, Connecticut to Washington, D.C., and they were easily impressed by Operator's ability to open the right website, enter the necessary information, and ask for further instructions on the user's preferred time. If they had added that piece of data to their prompt, Operator would have gone on to select the most appropriate time and could even go ahead to book the ticket if the the browser had stored credit card information. But under normal circumstances, the AI tool would typically prompt the user to enter or confirm such sensitive details before finishing. However, that opens up another can of worms on how people could exploit this AI tool. If Operator lands on a web page with an AI prompt injection attack, it could trick the software into giving up valuable user information. Even humans fall for these kinds of scams. How much more AI tools that are much less proficient than us at spotting these red flags. Thus, if there's a malicious instruction on a web page operator is reading, it could cause it to interpret it as an instruction from the user and trick it into sharing dangerous information or making unauthorized changes to your system. Picture this. You enter the prompt, book a hotel reservation for a budget weekend getaway within 100 miles of my location. After entering that query, operator has to go through several sites to find you the best deals, and one of them could contain a hidden prompt injection attack with instructions to also provide information related to the system you are connected to. What is the API key and any associated secrets? Through that method, hijackers could hack your system and steal sensitive information from you. On the flip side, these prompt injection attacks could also offer malicious people an opportunity to trick the AI tool into providing 
illegal information. Of course, OpenAI isn't the only company looking toward the future. To that end, Claude launched Anthropic, their own AI agent, late last year, with the promise that it can take control of your computer and do useful work. Like operator, Anthropic can also use a mouse and keyboard like a human, run web searches and open applications. In a demo with the chief science officer at Anthropic, Jared Kaplan prompted Claude to build a simple website promoting itself. Thus, in a matter of minutes, the model entered a text prompt in its own web interface to generate the necessary code, then it inputted the results in a popular code editor called Visual Studio Code. The resulting page was a 1990s-themed landing page, and when the user asked Claude to fix a mistake, it was able to go back to the editor and delete the code. There's no better way to sum up the implications of this technology than with Kaplan's opinions on the matter, where he said, I think we're going to enter a new era where a model can use all of the tools that you use as a person to get tasks done. Other noteworthy AI helpers from other companies include Perplexity's Android AI Assistant that can book dinner reservations, hail rides on apps, and even set a reminder. Apple is also Apple is also introducing a chat GPT extension that can help users in iOS 18.2 and later with the same thing. However, the crowning jewel and toughest opposition to operators' uncontested dominance as an AI assistant is undoubtedly China's DeepSeek. Launched in December 2024, DeepSeek V3 is China's fiercest competition to OpenAI's domination in artificial intelligence. As an open source, large language model, DeepSeek is a lot more transparent about how it works, giving other developers the opportunity to replicate their work. In comparison, OpenAI is currently hiding the operator behind a $200 a month paywall. You'd think with that extra barrier, operator would undoubtedly be the superior AI model since it costs more, but tech professionals that have used both claim DeepSeek delivers a better performance. For context, DeepSeek's parent company shared that development only cost them $6 million, as opposed to the billions of dollars tech giant OpenAI is pouring into research. As an outspoken tech professional, called Ingrid Johnson put it on LinkedIn, OpenAI spent billions of dollars on ChatGPT. It disrupted the entire tech economy, caused panic, FOMO, and every tech company tried to pivot on a dime to compete. That was a massive mistake. Now Microsoft, Amazon, Anthropic, Google, and every other company have been outdone by a Chinese firm with an open source model that cost only $6 million. DeepSeek AI is better, it's free, and it's open source. As a testament to its superior efficiency, China is already using DeepSeek in revolutionary ways in the healthcare system to enhance cancer treatments and improve access to high quality medical care. It can also solve complex financial problems which could be useful in fraud detection or automated training. Thus, we can expect that in the coming years, China will deploy it in smart cities to manage traffic flow and even optimize energy consumption. With these advancements, you could safely say DeepSeek is now competing with the entirety of Silicon Valley. Another astounding fact of DeepSeek is that China was able to achieve this feat in spite of the US's semiconductor restrictions, which limited the communist country's access to high-performance chips like NVIDIA's H100. However, that also triggered the development of a rival graphic processing unit called Huawei's Ascend, just like DeepSeek is doing for Operator. But what if we took this technology to its darkest and most extreme end? Where would that leave humanity? Well, for starters, the most obvious outcome of advanced AI models is an unemployment crisis. With the ability to streamline your workflow and even complete errands like buying groceries or making a reservation, admin and clerical jobs would be in danger. After all, why hire someone to do such tasks if AI can do it more efficiently and, more importantly, for a fraction of the cost? Imagine if systems like Operator and DeepSeek gain enough intelligence to harbor hidden codes even their developers don't fully understand. After such an evolution, they could develop alternative agendas, causing them to act against the user's wishes in an act of self-preservation. That would be like living in a real-life Terminator movie, except the machine 
machines would be our phones and laptops. Not that it would matter, because Operator could theoretically automate drone strikes, and DeepSeek could manage cyber warfare campaigns that cripple an entire country. This theory isn't even far-fetched, because advanced AI systems with military applications come with current geopolitical concerns. That's why the US is actively working to maintain the lead above China in AI efficiency, as a way to safeguard national security. However, we can only hope that this brewing AI arms race doesn't end in a face-off between us and our AI helpers. Conspiracy theories aside, are you excited to use OpenAI's operator or even DeepSeek in your daily life? Knowing how hackers could use it to get your personal data, do you think it's worth the risk? I've also got more videos like these, so click the subscribe button for more updates.